It didn't feel like we woke up in the same town we went to sleep in. The sky was covered in clouds when we arrived last night. So it wasn't until we came out of our tents in the morning that we saw just how picture perfect the view really was. It was cool to just walk around and observe how people live in this tiny fishing village. We've learned since the past few days to just slow down when the sun was out and just appreciate the moment before moving on. We knew that in a matter of minutes, the weather can completely shift. We hopped in the Jeep and got back on the one heading north, with the idea of taking a different approach today. Despite the advice we'd received to stick to the ring road, we decided to drive straight into the highlands. Our main goal for the day was to find a place locals have been telling us about since the beginning of the road trip, called Dis in the East Fjords. The problem is that we're going off a map that was drawn for us and aren't exactly sure what we're looking for. We just kept following this water stream up the mountain. It was a bit of a sketchy trek, but we eventually made it to the source waterfall. This place wasn't even marked on our maps. Big names like Deddy Foss and Gullfoss overshadow a lot of attractions in Iceland, simply because of the sheer size of them. In reality, you can drive in any direction and eventually run into a landmark. So we pushed on further and higher into the highlands, not knowing where or when we would connect back to the main road. And then we took a wrong turn. So what just happened, bro? So we just went down an impassable street, our road on the highlands, and uh, can't go back up anymore. We had to turn back. We have a four x four vehicle, but it doesn't move. So. And no, uh, we had the scare of our lives. We almost fell off a fucking cliff. So. Should have been filming, but I didn't. I'm glad I'm still here with you guys. It was scary as shit. That's what I said. Oh yeah, we, we saw, saw the sign and went anyway. We're idiots. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Try one more time and get full speed. Fuck no. <laughs> full speed, you just zoom right off of it. We kept hearing about a place called Dis, where apparently the Algerians came and abducted Vikings, or Vikings buried Moroccans, or something like that. It wasn't clear. It was essentially just a big pile of rocks. Instead, we stumbled upon some old mining cave, scattered with quartz crystals. That one? So we packed a bunch into our bags, figuring they could be cheap souvenirs to give to people when we got back. We kept pushing north into the mountains, where roads kept deteriorating. After today's close call, we decided finding this wasn't worth the risk of driving any further. I don't feel nervous. <laughs> we put our tents up in a gilsted ear and ran into some cool locals. When we get the chance, it's nice to just take the time to talk to the people that actually live here and get a better understanding on their perception of outsiders. It's easy to forget that Iceland is one of the most isolated countries in the world. Oh yeah, 
Alonso. Someone flipped a switch, and it felt like we were on the planet Mars. We were finally pushing Northern Territory. Before leaving, we actually considered renting a car for this trip to save some money. But had we not decided to go with the Jeep, we wouldn't have made it to half these places. After overcoming some rough terrain, we made it to Deddy Foss. Deddy Foss is the largest waterfall in Europe in terms of volume discharge. You'd expect to be desensitized by now, after seeing all we've seen. Truth is, our jaws continue to drop when we get to these places. All the driving done to get there, the cold we have to endure, the wet, we forget about it. This is the newest piece of land on the face of the earth. The terrain is still being formed by the natural elements, and we're here watching it happen. We realized we underestimated the size of the fall after walking alongside its cliff for almost an hour. Put your hazards on. It didn't seem like we'd be making it to Accurary tonight. Our faithful Jeep had once again lucked out on us. Oh my fuck. <laughs>